Should the Washington Commanders bring back quarterback Kirk Cousins in free agency this year so, I can, so that they can take Marvin Harrison Jr. at number two overall in the 2024 NFL Draft? I'm going to answer that question for you guys on today's edition of the Commanders Report. I'll also discuss a late, uh, the latest uh, free agency rumor here that connects DeAndre Swift, the running back, to the Commanders. We'll talk about that article in just a second as well. And then make sure you guys stick around because we got the latest on the Commanders QB Combine meetings. All the players that they're meeting with, we're going to be breaking it down later in today's show, so make sure you guys stick around. But before we get into all of today's news and rumors coverage, make sure you guys click that, uh, click that subscribe button and join our family here at the Commanders Report. Every time the Commanders make a big move this offseason, every time they sign somebody in free agency in a couple of weeks, if they make a trade, every time they make a draft pick, we're going to have you covered with breaking news coverage for you guys right here on the channel for free. And then also, NFL Draft and NFL Free Agency. We're going to have extensive coverage of both of them, getting you guys ready, uh, letting you guys know who the Commanders are targeting, all these different things, and in-depth scouting reports as well. And oh yeah, guys, it's all 100% free. So if you want the most in-depth Commanders coverage that money can buy, 100% free right here at the Commanders Report. It's your spot, so make sure you click that subscribe button right now. So let's go to Kurt Cousins. Do you like that? I'm not too sure if I like that. You know, there's an argument to be made here that Kirk Cousins, who's just about to hit the free agency market here, uh, that you could bring him in, and it opens up some interesting possibilities for the Washington Commanders in 2024. You look at the recent career stats here, and listen, man, they've been pretty darn good. As we know, as, as Washington football fans, back when Cousins was back here, we were still the Redskins, right? But he was still a pretty darn good quarterback, and over the last several seasons with the Minnesota Vikings, He's still been that steady presence in the league where, you know, he's maybe not a top five quarterback, but he's definitely borderline top 10, and he is a franchise level quarterback in this league. You look at the numbers throughout his career, consistently over 65% completion percentage, over 250 passing yards per game, and is usually around 30 touchdowns per season. Super, super solid quarterback, really good pocket passer, good deep ball, all these different things that we know about Kirk Cousins' game. And Pro Football Focus right now currently uh, expects his contract, his next contract, to be three years, $35 million per season. And according to the reports, Kirk Cousins wants his next deal to be fully guaranteed. All right, the Minnesota Vikings not so keen on that idea, which is why he might be going elsewhere. Now, the Washington Commanders can absolutely afford that price. All right, they got the most cap space of anybody in the National Football League entering free agency, over $80 million to spend, according to Spotrack.com. Uh, and, you know, you could spend 35 of that on Kirk, maybe spend another 20 on an edge rusher. You know, you could definitely go out and make this move if you wanted to, and you know, just for a second here, think of the possibilities that you would have if you don't take a quarterback at number two overall. You got a guy in Marvin Harrison Jr. who many people consider a generational talent at the wide receiver position. Now, you do have Terry McLaurin, and you got Jahan Dotson, but imagine pairing those guys up with Maserati, Marv, Maserati Marvin and Kirk Cousins, who's already an established veteran in this league, or you could have Kirk Cousins and you could trade down for more picks, and you could probably take one of the top offensive tackle prospects after trading down. So there's definitely some interesting possibilities here when it comes to getting Kirk Cousins in free agency this year, but let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section. Should Washington sign Kirk Cousins this offseason? Type S if you would sign him, or type P if you're going to pass. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. When that happens, take advantage of that time by answering today's pinned question. So my take on Kirk Cousins, guys, is that I don't think they should go get him, all right? I know that some people still have sentimental feelings about Cousins' time here in Washington, but at the end of the day, guys, the Commanders are sitting at number two overall in the NFL draft, and there are three blue-chip quarterback prospects in this year's class, in my opinion. Caleb Williams, Drake May, and Jaden Daniels. We've talked all about all of them extensively on the show, and whenever you have that kind of opportunity, you just don't pass it up because it doesn't come around very often. To get a young stud quarterback on a rookie contract, it just doesn't come around very often 
for many teams. So when you're in that position, you have to take advantage of that. And I don't think the solution is to sign a 35-year-old veteran quarterback to a $35 million per year uh, salary here when you're trying to rebuild a roster. I think it's better to get a young gun, to get somebody uh, that's a blue chip prospect and somebody that you hope can be in the building for the next 20 years here in Washington. Now, uh, you know, I'm coming up here, I'm going to be talking about DeAndre Swift, the running back with the Philadelphia Eagles. He's about to hit the free agency market. Should the commanders go out and target him? I'm going to answer that question here in about two minutes. But first, I want to tell you about today's sponsor at Prize Picks. And guys, football season is over. I'm just as sad about it as you are. But the action on the floor when it comes to collegiate and professional basketball is just heating up. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of the year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app in the United States of America. How does it work, you ask? Here's how. You pick two to six players, and if they'll go for more or less than their prize picks projection, you can even win up to 25 times your money on any entry, and you can even put in prize picks entries on the NFL Combine, guys. So you see some of these prospects here, Troy Franklin, the wide receiver out of Oregon, and then Adonis Mitchell, the wide receiver out of Texas, and Xavier Worthy out of Texas as well. Looks like producer Coop is, is, is uh, trying to make some money here with his Longhorns here. We're taking the less on all of them. It's 40 times. It's all the different stuff that you can find at the Combine. So with prize picks, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks. So you can get started right now with NASCAR, NBA, NFL Combine, all of it, guys. It's so much fun to play. Download the app now and use code CLNS and use a for a first deposit match up to $100 today. Again, download the app and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with our friends at Price Picks. Now let's talk about DeAndre Swift here, where Bleacher Report just put out an article listing all the top running back free agents, and they linked DeAndre Swift to the Washington Commanders here uh, as we approach 2024 free agency. This is what Christopher Knox, the author of the article, had to say about Swift to the nation's capital. With Antonio Gibson slated to hit free agency, Washington could use a compliment to Brian Robinson Jr. in their backfield. With a league-high $96.4 million in projected cap space, the Commanders can afford to fill that void in free agency. So when you look at uh, you look at Swift here, and he's not going to be all that much. You know, he, they're projecting here three years, six million dollars per season. And honestly, guys, because the running back market is definitely down in the dumps right now, it might even be less than six million dollars per season. But you know what? I really do think. Uh, the running back uh, position is a young man's game, and DeAndre Swift is getting a little bit older. So I think if you're trying to replenish your running back ranks, I think there's plenty of good running back prospects in this year's NFL draft, and you draft somebody and you draft somebody to add to your ranks. I like Brian Robinson Jr. already. I like Chris Rodriguez Jr. And the, and the ability that he brings to the table as well. So I don't really think it's that much of a priority to go and get a running back in free agency. I won't necessarily cry if they end up bringing in DeAndre Swift. I think he's a good fit for Cliff Kingsbury's offense. And overall, I think it'd be nice to have him try to stick it to his old team that underutilized him, in my opinion. But, you know, if I'm going, if I'm running the commanders right now, I know that you can get really quality running back talent in the middle rounds, even in the late rounds of the NFL draft at this point, and it's a young man's game. So if, so if I'm going to replenish that position, I'm going through the NFL draft. Speaking of the NFL draft, let's shift now to owner Josh Harris, who, according to reports, has been sitting in on the quarterback interviews with Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, and Michael Penix Jr., this week in Indianapolis. He's not sitting in on other positions, but he is for the quarterbacks. And some people are starting to worry that Josh Harris might be overstepping uh, his role as the owner of the team, and he's kind of stepping more into an active role in trying to kind of meddle with the football operations in the front office by sitting in on these meetings, 
uh, and getting himself too involved because we all know one of the big problems with Dan Snyder, the former owner here in Washington, is that he would get way too involved in things that he shouldn't have been getting involved in. He would demand that the front office would take the players that he liked, and th it was just a straight-up disaster. So is Josh Harris going to be that type of guy? My take on it, guys, is, you know, let's pump the brakes a little bit. I know you have a little bit of PTSD with Dan Snyder completely ruining some of the past drafts that we've had here in Washington, but I think Josh Harris sitting in on those quarterback interviews, just wants to get a feel for the personality because whoever they end up drafting at number two is going to be the guy that he's entrusting to be the face of his franchise for the next, what, 10, 15, maybe even 20 years if everything works out the way that we want it to. So you know what? If he wants to sit on those meetings, I'm cool as long as he's not straight up telling the, the football people, the people that actually know the game, what to do because Dan Snyder was the type of guy that knew nothing about football and told football guys what moves to make. That was a huge uh, mistake, and I hope Josh Harris isn't doing that right now. But honestly, guys, I trust him at this point, but let me know what you guys think. Is Josh Harris too involved in the football operations as the new owner of the Washington Commanders? Give me a yes or give me a no. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section, what you think of the new Washington owner. That'll be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Make sure you click that subscribe button right now for extensive Commander's coverage all throughout the 2024 offseason.